Hey guys, well I'm, up, I'm here making a video, obviously, and in this video I'll, I'll be showing you a shader that I made a, a while back. If you actually did see the Halo style game that I made in one of the videos I made a while ago, you noticed that I mentioned saying that I wasn't able to show you guys a shader that I made because of some error or something, but I was able to... I was researching and I researched for like an hour I guess because it was really difficult to search for it and I was able to make it work. So yes, finally. And I'm just making this video just to show you guys. Basically, um, there was a final that I made um, like six months ago I think it was. No, four months ago. It was a final that I made. Oh wait, it's not four months ago. What was this? It was like two months ago. Yeah, two months ago. And basically, what we had to do is just make a make an environment that had thirty lights, and and using those thirty lights, I had to um I have to look, I have to check that object, and decide which of the four lights are closer which of those thirty lights are closer to it and I had to choose four lights of them and from that I had to make it that certain color. Oh I'll show you I can't really explain that I'm horrible at explaining things sometimes so might as well just show you guys. Hopefully it doesn't lag. And if it does lag then I'm gonna have to make the the environment smaller. And obviously you won't be watching this. I'll be making another video, but otherwise, if it doesn't lag, then forget what I just said. Blah 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 blah. All right, there we go. This is the environment that I made. It's not special or anything at all. I just like the way the bunny looks. It looks so awesome. And I'm like, and like, it's not really a big thing, like I said, but I'm not really a shader guy, but. Not being a shader guy, I was able to do this, and it looks pretty awesome, I think. And he takes the four closest lights to it, and the terrain takes also the four closest light. And there's 30 lights in the level, and there's normal maps around. And there's a specular light somewhere around here. And not specular light, I mean the spotlight. I mean, yeah, basically this shader was mostly lights. And that's what we had to do. So as I move around, they change the color depending on what's closer to it. So this is green. And as you rotate, it will change to a different color depending on what's around it. And it might be laggy, but it might be just my computer that kind of sucks. Or it might be the video recording thing. I don't know. Well, anyways, this is a normal map. If I take the, let me see what, this is without the normal, and this is with the normal, so you can see the difference. Um, and I have some buttons, you know, take off texture, take off specular lighting, diffuse, and you're turning off the lights. Yeah, basically that's all. And we have to create a projectile that lights up the environment. So that lights up to that color. This lights up to that color. This lights up to that color. And so on and so on. So each projectile creates different colors of lights. Let me see where's my specular light at. It's a circle. Let me see if I find it real quick. Tom, tom, tom. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, did I turn it off? Oh no, it's still there. Okay, I think it's kind of lagging right now. This is the first time I'm using this computer, but... I don't know why it's so small. I think because I changed the values and made it differently. It changed it. So as I increase it, then of course it's going to spread out. 
So um, I have buttons to uh, change the position of the lights. So it get darker as it goes away. So it has attenuation. And it's not perfect, but probably the thing that I changed right now that makes it look so weird. But it works, you know. So. Yeah. I just wanted to show you this. Like I said, it's not really a really big thing, but it's, I think I feel really good about it since I'm not really a shader guy. I kind of suck at shading, shaders things or anything that has to do with graphics programming. It looks awesome. Bruh. Alrighty. Well, anyways, I'll let you go off this and I'll see what other videos I'll be doing. You know, any recommendations, let me know. And if you like this video, subscribe. Tell other people about it. Let, let them see my videos and, and so on and so on. So, see you guys. Oh my god, this looks awesome. Alright, see you guys.